Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is another fun-filled episode of Coffin Comic Shopping Network. We have a moment for everyone to pop in. Hope everyone had a really stupendous weekend. I kind of did. I cleaned house. Yes, I cleaned house. All I did this weekend, cleaning house. All right, what do we got here? Got some fun stuff, some old school stuff, new school stuff, some other stuff, but I got stuff. Everyone get a shout out when you're in the room. Let's see who we have today. Troy, you beautiful man, how are you? How was your weekend, Troy? I hope it was well. Alright, I got Elvis stuck in my head today. But hey, I could have worse. Alright. So, a couple things. Um, Kickstarter is going nuts. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, I've been on the message boards helping with the add-ons and, and replying back to you guys' um, messages you're sending us through eBay and even through um, inquiries at Coffin Comics. And I just want to say, um, we are blessed to have so many amazing people like Coffin and Chaos fans are. Uh, we are very blessed to be able to have such fun people to chat with, uh, people that are understanding when we're trying to race to get things in. Um, so I just want to applaud the Sworn and the Fiends. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, keep introducing new people to our stuff. Um, we're growing. That's the way we want to go. We're just going to get bigger, badder, and better every day. So thank you very much, guys. It's been a lot of fun uh, helping out on the help decks on Kickstarter and what have you. Haley, how are you? Uh, yes, you know, Troy, I did a lot of housework. Um, clean my car in the hopes of it raining and you know what it didn't flip and rain it just blew dust and sprinkled for like two seconds it is depressing um i almost wanted to get a dull butter knife listen to morrissey and cut myself but you know hey that's another another story but first things up um try not to be too loud today because they are filming um next door some of the kickstarter videos so i'm going to start this off with just showing some stuff that I've had some of them are funky because um, they got double signatures on some of them. Like this is a Lady Death Dreams Black Magic Edition by Dan Mendoza. It's a two book set um, and Brian signing the many times he did, he actually instead of signing each book, he signed one twice and then one once. So it's a triple signature set. I will throw in extra COAs for the extra signatures as I figure, hey, yeah, it was a mistake, but you know what? We just roll with it. We just roll with it. So I got this last set. This is also the last set. I don't think there's any more left on the store as well. Today's mostly focusing on eBay. Still got one or two of these barf bags that Jeff Kinnear uh, did for us. And if you notice, you know, I only got two. So get them. Jeff Kinnear, very big fiend. Very fun guy. If you guys haven't met him. Highly recommend meeting them. So, I did some more digging and I found a couple things um, that I haven't shown for you guys in a while, and also something that is extremely rare. Thank you, I have my coffee. God knows I need some more coffee. Yeah, coffee, coffee sounds good. I had my afternoon after um, lunch coffee. It's quite good, so everyone who's drinking your coffee, drink your coffee today. All right, some fun stuff. Now, this is some of my favorite stuff Brian wrote, and I'm hoping I can find more of this stuff. Um, I think I found what I found, uh, but I haven't found any of the Child's Play books, but I'm looking. So I still have a few of the Friday the 13th books Brian did. This is Blood Blath. <laughs> Blood Blath. <laughs> That's all, folks. Uh, this is Bloodbath. Uh, this is the platinum foil. Probably hear Brian whooping it up over there on the other side of the door. Now this one's really cool. This is probably of all the old av 
Avatar stuff, this is um, probably one of the lowest numbers I've had. This is a Friday the 13th, special number one. This is the royal blue foil. I have one. This is it, this is the last one. There's only 100 of these, so I made sure I have the certificate of authenticity. So yes, there is only 100 copies of the Royal Blue Friday the 13th. It has a COA. Set it right up here. So all this stuff is on the eBay store. Go ahead and click on the selection on the um, links we have provided for you. Just click on those. Do your shopping there for the eBay. For the Coffin Comic Store, there's a link there. Uh, if you guys want to, you got literally maybe 50 minutes to take advantage of our 20% off sale that's going on right now till 5 p.m. So when this show's over, that 20% off sale ends. So click on the link to the Coffin Comic Shop if you haven't already looked for it. We're doing 20% off a lot of items, a ton of items for our Coffin Comics 13th anniversary. So jump on there and pick up some really sweet deals, some really cool exclusives, or maybe just pick up uh, a couple copies for some friends that you want to turn on to Lady Death. You know we have them, and we got 20% off going on at the Coffin Comic Shop right now. Click on the link and get it, because there's only about, it's pretty much less than an hour left on that sale. Some other fun stuff from the classic era. Yeah, classic horror, in my opinion. Uh, Jason X, number one. So there are a few copies left of these. Showing you all my slasher comics I have. I know some people are gonna ask for if I have any Chucky or Child's Play. I do not. Uh, unfortunately, um, I haven't found any. Um, I found one copy, but it was mangled, so um, I put it out of its misery. In other words, I ripped it up and recycled it. Um, it was heartbreaking, because I've had a, a couple of people asking if I had any of the Chucky or Child's Play stuff Brian wrote. So far, no. I'm hopeful maybe I can find a few uh, here and there because I find a lot of weird stuff. Uh, Jason X, this is the Gore issue. Uno Gore. So Juan Jose ripped it in. No one calls me from Lake Michigan. I don't know you people from anyone. All right, continuing on, I have the Headless. Issue one of Jason X. There was only 1250 of this kind of, uh, bleh, copy. God dang, I should have had a second cup of coffee. So I still got a couple of these left on. The eBay store. Also, check out the Coffin Comic Shop if you hadn't. 20% off. This is the last hour. Once this show's done, <laughs> sale ends. So take advantage of it while you can. Uh, another, I love platinum foils, all platinum foils. Jason X, it's a platinum foil. This is the special number one. I have a few copies left, so get them while you got it. And yes, I will open this sucker up because it's still sealed with the original COA. I'm more than happy to open this for you and get it signed by Brian. All you gotta do is ask. And thank you everyone on uh, eBay who's been uh, sending me little messages um, for things they're looking for. Thank you very much. I love getting those messages. I love chatting with you all uh, when I have time. And um, yeah, just a real, we have great customers. And rhymes. I don't know. I'm trying to be a poet, but it's Monday, so no. And you can't do 80s classic slashers and have Jason. And, you know, you got to have a little Freddy love in here. So Nightmare on Elm Street, Fear Book, number one. Got a few copies of these left. What? Did you, Haley? What was the one thing that was on the sale that you picked up that you're like, yes, I scored it, and it's something you've been wanting? What was that? Tell us, please, now. Or wait. Okay. Another cool 80s slasher. We have uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid number two. This is the standard cover. Juan Jose Rip again does the cover, Brian Fleer writes. I'm, I wish we could write these characters, because God knows I, I think we could write some pretty amazing stuff. Uh, here's the Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid 1 Gore cover. 
Oh, who is that? Bob, how are you today? It's good to see you, Bob, as always. Bob is in the house, people. The one, the only, the living legend, Bob. Yeah. Bob is in the house. Bob, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. All right, next up I have a Nightmare on Elm Street Paranoid number two. This is another platinum foil cover. All platinum foils do not look at direct sunlight. It will be, it will blind you. You'll be blind, especially if you're driving. Um, it's hard to choose from just one. It would either be the Hell Witch Forsaken Metal Edition. That is beautiful. Or the Monty Ecstasy print, which, yeah. Yeah, Monty uh, does some really beautiful prints. Uh, John Boy Myers covers. I'm starting to dig his stuff. I'm really liking what I'm seeing that he's making for us. So um, good for you, Haley. I'm glad you got that medal because it's 80 bucks. Leather projects all weekend. All right. What was your pride and joy that you made this weekend, Bob? What was the one thing you're like, all right, this is tops. This is the one for the weekend that's like, this is the one. Or are they all like that? Hey, Monty Moore is in the house. Hello, Monty. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Another thing we have on the eBay store is Nightmare on Elm Street, issue one, Paranoid. This is the terror cover. Ah, I'm going to get you. I'm Freddy. Ah, ah. Yep. You eat too much snack foods. No way. You made a challenge. Okay. Bob, um, could you send me a picture of that? I gotta see that. That sounds pretty badass. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? I, do you have one on you right now, uh, Bob? If I bring you on camera, can you show everyone your uh, handiwork? Please let me know. I'd love to bring you on. Especially you're showing off some leather works. <laughs> Let's see. Next up. Oh, here we go. Another rare one. And I made sure the COA was with it. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the special number one royal blue foil. There is only 100 of these made. I did some looking around. So yes, there is only 100 made of this cover. Uh, I think that's the fewest Avatar has made on these horror ones. I couldn't find anything else that was smaller than that. If there is, someone please let me know so I can be on the lookout for some for you guys. Um, but here's the COA. It is limited to 100 copies. It is a royal blue. It is Nightmare on Elm Street special. How would you like to get that signed by Brian? If anyone needs anything signed by Brian on the eBay store, please put for buyer's notes. Um, Please get these items signed or sign all items or just one item. Um, I have a, one customer that um, likes Brian to sign in the big big bees, blown out bees, I think we call it, the classic signature. Um, so I definitely will get this stuff signed for you. Um, it does add a couple days, two, three days um, handling time before I can get it out to you. Um, but I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. Um, Something we just recently started offering on um, the eBay store. All right, Bob, here we go. I'm going to bring you on camera, and I want to see. Let's see. Bob, I'm going to bring you on, and let's see what you made. We've got Bob coming on. Bob's coming on. Who do we got? Bob's coming on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob! Oh, this thing takes forever to load. It's connecting. There it is. What's up, man? Hey, what's happening? So much, man. How are you today? Doing good. Doing good. So, so you said about this challenge coin draw. Quick draw. Now, I got to see this. That sounds pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I actually came up with the idea... Uh, back before uh, Fiend Fest. Okay. okay. 
And uh, so I decided that uh, I, I, since I, we were going to be there and since the challenge coin thing was going, I didn't want to get caught short or somebody, you know, whipped out a challenge coin and said, hey, yeah. you know, because yeah. then it was still new. And we were saying, so, well, you know, do you, do you have to have it? Because some people said you had to take it out in one move. Some people said you got three moves. So I said, well, hell, I'll just make a holster, a quick draw, and then I'll just keep wearing it on my hip, and when I need it, I can just whip it out. So this is okay, and you can see that you wear it on your belt. Oh, dude, that's slick. And when you want it, you just take it out, there, and you're done. Does it keep the coin very nice and secure so it doesn't fall out on accident? Oh, dude, dude. Bravo, Maestro. Dude, dude, that's cool. Now, so now. I worked all weekend on, like I said, this is a prototype. This is the very first one th that I made. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's a little rough, you know, it, it, but it's, it, it's, a, it's a prototype, so it's supposed to be rough. So I, I've refined the shape, uh, refined the, uh, the belt loops and whatnot. So it, it rides a little, rides a little better, and looks looks better. And uh, so I was working all weekend uh, making these up. So it looks really good. I gotta say, I really like that. It's way different than what I thought. You were, I was like, how is he gonna do that? Or without slicking out and hitting someone in the face? Because then you won that challenge class, I think. Just saying. <laughs> well, the good thing is, like I said, one one pull. And you got the coin right there. Nice, nice. And then when you're done, you just pop it back in, and it like it, it holds it securely. So, dude, that's impressive. I'm so impressed. that's what I'm on this week. So what else did you do besides uh, come up with that? Uh, I came up. I, I came up with for Fiend Fest with um, uh, challenge coin cases. This is uh. This I is like a double this cake, so I yeah. can keep things in there, and closes with a snap. I keep it in my pocket all the time. It's a little worn, but again, this is one of the first ones I made, That's and nice. I, made, uh, I know Haley's watching, so this is one I made for Haley, Aww. and if you open it up... Nice. You better like that, Haley. That's pretty gorgeous. Wow. I made one for uh, Dane Ellingson. Nice. So. Dude. So how did you, uh, what got you started in working with leather? Um, basically, I started working in leather so that I could uh, make holsters for myself. Okay. okay. Um. You know, I, uh, I have a concealed weapons permit and, um, you know, I have, I have some, some side arms. So, you know, what, holsters are incredibly expensive, it, the, the good ones. So um, I decided that, um, you know, I decided that I would learn how to make my own. So that's what I did, learn how to make my own. So now when I get a new gun, I can just take it and make a, a custom fit holster for it. And now you're making challenge coin holsters. That's even cooler. Challenge coin holsters. I do challenge coin cases. Um, uh, you know, uh, knife sheaths, belts. I'm making. I'm also making a. a, a uh, don't tell her, but uh, I'm making Brandy a dog collar for her dog. Nice. But it's nice. a sworn collar, so it's going to have skulls and it's going to have sworn on it and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'll make sure you can watch this episode right now. She can't be watching right now. If I see her, I'll poke her in the eyes for you. There you go. That'll work. <laughs> Randy just well, I, also, I started getting into uh, leather carving, and this is uh, this is one of the first ones I did. That's hand carved. Did the leather? Did the leather. Yeah. No, it's I'll rough. Do, to do something like that, and you're just learning that. Yeah, um, depends on how complicated the design is. That one took me about an hour. Okay. And um, so, 
you know, I was, I was talking to Brian the other day and, uh, I'm going to, you know, back in the day, they used to have leather covers for, yeah. Yeah. you know, lady death. So what I wanted, and those were, those were basically foil stamped. Yeah. yeah. So they would use a plate and they would take the piece of leather and they would have a, a sheet of, of gold or silver foil. And then the, the heated stamp would come down and press into the leather and the heat would transfer that, that gold or silver to the leather permanently. Oh, wow. And that's where we got those designs. So what I want to do is I'm going to buy, I'm going to take the, um, the reckoning number one, the, the, the original cover. And I'm going to carve it into leather oh, wow. and cut it down so it's the same size. And so it'll, it, I'm sure it'll take a, a couple of weeks, but, uh, you know, it's my first, it'll be the first large piece I've done. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that's a, I really love those challenge because it's, those holsters are a really great idea. So, yeah, yeah, bravo, dude. Way to think outside of the box. And I basically give them, I, I took a whole bunch of the of the challenge coin cases to FiendFest and gave them away. Nice. 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 Um, you know. Well, you are Santa Claus. <laughs> I am Santa Claus, that's true. <laughs> so I got this today. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Nice. Uh, previews exclusive. Yep. Wow. Gorgeous. The COA on this thing is really, really cool. I love it when I saw the exhibition that has the full COA. I love those things. I wish I could find more, but I didn't. I'm running out of them. Running out. Yeah, they're hard to find. They are very hard, especially with the COA still with it. A lot of people took it out or threw them out. Yeah, took it out and it. Yeah, another uh, wizard one. I have a couple wizards, but I have no COA, so I'm like, well, I'll sell them cheaper. So, but yeah, I wish I had the COAs with them because those are always cool to fly. All right. Well, okay. thank you for joining me today, uh, Bob. Always good to see you. And do you have a special I shout out for anyone, or what do you want to do this uh, actually, I've got a, uh, I'm going to be on with, uh, Pops Van Zant tonight at eight Nice. on his Monday madness on the, uh, the comic, uh, network, something, yeah, something yeah. like that. And, uh, we're going to be on at eight and we're going to talk about coffin claws. We're going to talk, I'm going to talk about the, um, uh, uh Kickstarter. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, gonna make an announcement uh, tonight for uh, something special that I that I'm doing for the uh, Kickstarter. Wow. Okay. And I've already worked on with, with Brian, so Coffin Comics is also involved in it. Nice. nice. Well, I can't wait to hear about this announcement. That's tonight at eight o'clock. Tonight at eight o'clock on uh, Monday, Memphis. People. Sign in and it's all kind of a giveaway. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, Bob. I'll talk right, to you next time. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your right, you too. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right, that was Bob. Um, if anyone doesn't know, Bob's uh, really. Old school Lady Death fan. Um, so right there, um, man's a legend. Um, that's the reason why people call him uh, Coffin Claws. Uh, he's done some amazing things for people, helping them complete collections or find stuff uh, that they've been looking for. He's got an amazing selection of comics. Um, so we salute you, Bob. Thank you for everything you do for the Fiends and for the Sworn. And Coffin Comics, we always appreciate you. Um, next up, of course, I have Freddy, I have Jason, and I also have not many of these left. Leatherface. I have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Grind. I just tripped. And <laughs> this is the terror cover right there.
wish I did, but no. But I do have this limited to 100 copies. The Royal Blue Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Number One. Yes, I do have the COA that states there is only a hundred of that made. So I got one of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I have one of the Nightmare on Elm Street Special, and I have a Friday Thirteenth Special. That's all I got of those. See them? Grab them. Um, I think I put some up in March, and people scooped them up like really fast. So I'm glad I'm able to offer at least one more of each for you guys. Um, they are on the eBay store. Click on the links. I also uploaded some more um, old stock. So I re-upped on the Sinister Seas hollow foils. So I added one, one of those. Uh, I also added a couple more of the Bleeding Kiss of Vampire Edition, the hollow foils. We can have two left of these, maybe three, and that's it. They are gone. They are no more. So click on the links for eBay. This is where you'll find the selections I have up here, plus many more. I have over 500 items on the eBay store. Um, everything from comics, uh, exclusive covers, hard covers. I have some art books. Uh, I even have the Monty Moore one. I have four in stock. Each one has a Lady Death remark on the front in the front page of the book so each four are individual and they're all different someone asked me is are they all the same I'm like no they are all different they are stunning so monty moore everyone's favorite artist and all around amazing guy um get it today i have four on ebay they are all remarked joseph hardy how the heck are you dude <coughs> excuse me Another item I was able to find, it's Class Fiend Fest. The my, um, the, uh, the Dan Mendoza Instant Edition. This is a Lady Death Echoes. I was able to get my hand on one of these. One copy. This could be the last one. I don't know if there's any more on the store. I know a lot of the Fiend Fest stuff is slowly sh shrinking. So um, if anyone was not able to attend it, wants some of those exclusive stuff, um, there's not a lot of it left, so get it while you get the chance. I do have a few of them on eBay right now, so that's where you will find them at the moment. Oops. Let's not, let's not do that. Where did I go on here? There we go. Screwed up my feed. Uh, another real beautiful book, Lady Death Visions. This is a naughty funeral edition, and it is a number three. Michael DePasco. And I love that parasol. There's the number three COA and the awesome stickers we put on these to let you know what editions they are. I only have one of these. And once she's gone, um, hopefully I'll find other ones. Um, but they probably will not be numbered editions. They'll probably more than likely be APs if there's any or a BP at least. So keep your eyes out on those. If I have to find it, but as of now, this is it. I have the hiccups and I can't talk. So this is it. This is the number three of the Naughty Funeral Edition. And also for onesie stock, this is the last one. This is Lady Death Dreams. This is the RIP edition. Now what's cool about this, um, if I recall in December of last year, um, Brian did a bunch of, um, we did a bunch of these uh, books, RIP editions, and you could actually put some, an epitaph on the cover right here. Some people chose not to, <coughs> but not that many. It is done by Jeff Kinnear, same gentleman that did the barf bags I have. Those are cool. I recommend collecting barf bags. I got two left and that's it. But Jeff Kinnear, same gentleman that did the cover art on this, also did the barf bags. Um, this is really neat because I remember um, pulling these orders in December and ha you had to make sure, you know, not only was it the right number, but you needed to make sure that that text was for that person. So it was really neat to see us uh, process these. Um, like I say, most of them all had etchings on the tombstone. Very few didn't. And 
as of now, to my knowledge. This is it. This is the last copy. Here we go. Another classic. Um, I actually love, love uh, this gentleman's art. Bill McKay. This is Lady Death Echoes. This is F the World. This is my last one. Got on the US is number 91 out of 100. Once it's gone, that's it. It's the way of the dodo. She goes bye bye. No more, no more. Another cool item. Um, I got the last two copies. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the Lady Death Fantasies. This is the Death Wars homage cover. This is the homage to Star Wars number one. A couple weeks ago, I showed you guys the uh, metal covers I had, which I only had one or two left of those. Well, I have two left of the standard edition as well. So see what you like. Everything here is on the eBay store. You can also pick up some other items on the other link for the Coffin Comic Shop. Click on that. Prints are on there, um, 11 by 17s. We have mini prints. We have challenge coins. We still have maybe some baseball hats you might find on there if there's any left. Uh, T-shirts, graphic novels, posters, you name it. We got it there. Everything Coffin Comics. Click on the link for the Coffin Comic Shop. And also, we have exactly three more minutes. You have 28 minutes. 28 minutes to take advantage of the 20% off sale that's happening right now. So hurry up, 28 minutes, that ain't long. Sometimes it takes me 28 minutes just to log into an account, I'm so slow. Anywho, um, I also was able to get my hands on a few more copies, so I have about 10 copies of the Lady Death Sworn, number one. And that Sworn number two is gonna be so freaking beautiful um i can't wait to see those come in um so there will be sworn to uh, for folks who haven't seen the imaging go to kickstarter um you can see the image on there stunning my chrome did it again um knocked it out of the park as always now for uh some really fun stuff another uh one of item it is a number three is Lady Death Extinction Express. This is just the Dark Mistress edition. Michael DePascal, number three out of 250. Uh, I've only seen like... I have not seen the original, so this is the first time I've seen one of these, and amazing. I love it. Um, I do have some of the metal cover editions that they did for some of these for the... See, I had a Betty Page homage. There's also the Superstar, which is the Marilyn Monroe. And then I have this in the middle. And I believe I even have Karamia or Vampire left. Um, and those are APs, so they're very limited. Uh, really happy to get my hands on a vault copy of Lady Death Gallery. This is the handcrafted edition by Ken Hunt. Just put this up on the eBay store just before I went on. This is a number six out of 20 were published. So get them while you got them. Because soon they will be gone. Uh, here we go. Before I get to the, probably one of the most beautiful books I've put on eBay so far. Got one left of the Reckoning Number one, Dark Queen edition. This is from the WonderCon. This is a jeweled edition. It has Swaronsky crystals. I'm sure I butchered that, so haha, -ha, I butchered another word. One of those. It's Richard Ortiz does the cover. And finally, um, I put this on eBay. Um, I was really ecstatic when I found this. Um, and it's amazing because it's actually signed by the wonderfully talented Don McTeague. This is Lady Death Wicked Ways, the Unholy Edition. It is a number three. It does have crystals along her choker, right along here, and on the top, and along her waistline here. This is it. This is probably uh, 
a very iconic image that Don McTague did for us. It's beautiful. Um, I'm so happy I actually have uh, this copy. So I've got one left. This is it. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, of course, if I do find any other editions of it, I'll definitely show it to you guys. And now uh, we only got 11 days left for our Kickstarter. So if you guys like, I want to show you uh, a couple of things. Excuse me. That uh, we have on the Kickstarter. Over here, let's disconnect real quick. But yeah, here's a nice little slow pan of uh, some of the items that you'll find on the eBay store. So this is a jeweled edition. Beautiful. I, God, as I am so glad I, I found one. It's a handcrafted. So as you can see some of the other books. This is all the stuff that I have right now on my eBay store. So click on the link to go ahead and do some shopping there. And there's also a link for the Coffin Comic Store. This is just some of the stuff I thought I'd pull out. Um, the Royal Blue, Freddy, Jason, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, those are limited to 100 each. And once they're done, that's it. They're gone. So let's take a look at some of this really cool stuff. Make sure they're not filming over here. There we go. Let's take a look over here and show you guys. We started, all right. If you guys missed last week, we started... Uh, any backers, we put their backer numbers in a cauldron and we are picking them to have a tip in of the Lady Death or Devil Lock ash cans. This is really cool. If no one knows, uh, ash cans are kind of like the preview for a comic. Um, they've been around quite a few years in the comic industry. I've seen uh, looking at old um, overstreet price guides uh seeing stuff like facsimiles facsimiles or ash cans um so yeah we decided hey let's bring it back um so yeah some benny lucky um backers will just get that tipped in that's how we don't that's how we do it also we announced the new metal this is also going to be a tip tip in it's the scarlet metal edition <laughs> it's it's the uh, Shogun Warriors homage. I fucking love that cover. Man, that's a nice app right there. was my favorite Shogun Warrior until they put out the Godzilla figure. Especially that big old battle axe he shot off. And then also, we announced there would be some sculpted editions. Treacherous Infamy, just randomly tipped in. There's only going to be of these made maybe less but look at that this is full-on sculpt that is just so cool i love working for this company because we're always coming up with just fun inventive ways to sell you some gorgeous comic books and man do we have gorgeous comic books right here is the mystery envelope selection there's 11 days left on this kickstarter so thank you everyone for uh, making it a really successful Kickstarter for us. It took off like a rocket and shot off into orbit and it just keeps going. So thank you everyone. If you haven't backed us already, please do so. Just go ahead and jump on Kickstarter. If you haven't signed up on Kickstarter, please do. What you're seeing here is the mystery envelopes for our Kickstarter. We go ahead and seal them in these nice lovely little envelopes. There's 999 made for this Kickstarter. Um, as you can see, the theme is swimsuit. These John Boy Meyer ones are stunning. As you can see, swimsuit. Speaking of swimsuit, we actually created a new swimsuit edition comic. There is a premiere. They're going to be uh, wrapping up here. Less than 20 minutes for that sale. 20 minutes. Here's the uh, mock-ups of our softcover edition. 
black and white premiere and then we are doing another lady death masters the david harrigan premiere edition and mini comics and pogs i can't believe i would be this excited over pogs but i am there's some of the 11 by 17 prints we have there's that sworn too i was telling you guys about my chrome well there's the there's there it is it's beautiful absolutely beautiful more 11 17 prints there is the uh homage to superman number one there's our naughty this is the um part of the lenticular art which is really cool that is going to be a beautiful jeweled edition folks i'm telling you if you haven't backed us please do there's the metal cover this is the mock-ups Sometimes I'll throw those up on the eBay store or we'll throw them up uh, when we're doing special events. This is the Jeweled Edition. This is the Hollow Foil. This Hollow Foil is gorgeous. This is a beautiful book. This is, I think this might be our next in line for the best Hollow Foil covers because that's stunning. Ortiz, Naughty Edition. And these right here are the Mendoza three, three book set. This is the Diabolical Duel Edition A, Edition B, and Edition C. And I like how each of the characters are doing something different. He's starting to change. Power up, and Lady Death is just like, ha, 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 I'm ready for some fun. I love, I love this middle piece. Just love how she's like powering up and becoming, boom, there's a costume change. She's now evil Lady Death. Some interior work on that book. That's a great transformation scene right there. That's beautiful. All right, and these are our Chase Editions. Chase Editions are... Um, really cool because they're kind of similar to the mystery envelopes however there's some even rare editions the omegas now if we recall in some of these omegas we've only made like one this is all done by mr walter simonson doing these for us which is an honor to have such a legendary creator uh working with us gotta mix the classics with the new guys that's what we're all about and if you have not checked out any of our stuff yeah i love the ash cans too Haley. they're a lot of fun you can also and some people are into digital comics you can get this selection digitally too by backing us on kickstarter we got 12 chapters a badass cool stories with some stunning art so definitely please if you haven't backed us please consider it we highly recommend you here's our kickstarter value propositions each physical award includes free all unlocked free bonus items free u.s shipping free digital downloads and free signature with a certificate of authenticity by brian polito uh, if you'd like but Look at this and some of the stuff uh, a lot of you guys on here who have backed us on kickstarters in the past i mean thank you very much you guys know we definitely we don't chintz it out we actually really go all out on what we try to give you guys to make it more of a value for your hard-earned money because hey you know what it's like so that was what we have on kickstarter right now Camera down too much. There we go. Okay, we got 15 minutes. So real quick, everybody, um, we put this stuff away and showing you what I put up on the eBay store. This is Lady Death, the Reckoning, Dark Queen Edition. Those are is a crystal book. Of course, it doesn't show up that great on the camera. 
Uh, it is a number three edition. It comes with a certificate of authenticity stating, yes, this is number three out of 99 copies. You saw the Sworn 2. Well, there's the original Sworn 1. I was just able to restock about uh, seven more copies, so this should be taking me up to 10. I was down to three, and they were going pretty quick. Also have the Lady Death Echoes Mendoza Instant Edition. This was previously only available at FiendFest. So I have one copy for you all on the eBay store. Go on down, check it out. And I'll make sure I throw in the little FiendFest COA. Just to make sure it's in there. Beautiful piece. I can't wait to find the white wedding. Because I know there's one. Uh, Lady Death Visions, this is the Naughty Funeral Edition. Again, it is a number three. You put on the cool little sticker on it. Got its number right down there. And we put in the awesome number three, COA, which reads, Coffee Comics publishes small batches of serial numbered, com of serial numbered edition for collectors. Editions range from eight to 1,500 copies per edition. The number three edition is the lowest number of edition offered to the public at large. Historically, publisher Brian Polito retains the numbers zero, one, and two for his publisher file copies, though a few have reached collectors' hands from time to time. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this number three edition, except the limitations. Really cool stuff. This is the last one I came across. This is the Lady Death Dreams RIP. Jeff Kinnear did the art on that. He's also the gentleman that did the art on the barf bags. And there's like one or two left on eBay right now. And once they're gone, there you go. That's all she wrote. The pop Death Echoes. FTW. Didn't want to say that phrase out loud because I don't know if I'll go to Facebook prison. Um, I hate for that to happen. Other classics. Uh, only got two more left of the Oblivion Kiss Vampire Hollow. Number 49 and 50, I believe, are the last numbers I have. And there was 69 of those. 69, dude! Loaded up a couple copies of the Lady Death Fantasies Death Wars edition, our homage. We usually do one of these every year. Can you say Malevolent Decimation? Ha! Ooh, said it. <clears throat> Try again, Haley. <laughs> I'm practicing on the weekends. So I'm waiting for you guys to do that. It would either be you or Miguel. So ha! Ooh, gotcha. Ha ha ha. One of my favorite books uh, that I found uh, this week, uh, and I put it on the eBay store. Um, I think this is one of the most beautiful covers we've done, but this is the Lady Death Wicked Ways on Holy Edition, and it is signed by Don McTay. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I absolutely love this. I had no idea that this was a jeweled edition um, until I ran across it, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's one of the first ones and I never knew it could look that stunning with jewels but hmm. you never know till you look uh, I believe this is my last copy of Scorched Earth Sinister Seas hollow foil uh, this is it I do I think I have a Nick and Dent one left on there as well and I do have a BP edition of the non hollow foil cover so just the standard cover Another cool number three, uh, Lady Death Exceeded Strict. This is Dark Mistress Edition. It is a number three. Ha! See? Haley, uh, I'm wise to your games now. <laughs> For some reason, I have a feeling my wife would put you up to that too, Haley. So. <laughs> the both is. Another amazing book. I love these uh, handcrafted editions, and hopefully someday we'll do some more. Boom. This is gallery number one, handcrafted edition. This is number six out of 20. Get it while I got it. Ken Hunt is the, color, is the uh, artist, and the art is colored by 
Jason Jensen, the one and only. Another cool thing, uh, only one of these left. There was 100 produced, and I do have the original COA, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Royal Blue. This is Texas Chainsaw Massacre Special Number 1. It's the last one. Also got a couple other Texas Chainsaw Massacre books in stock. These are, um, of all the horror ones outside of Chucky, which I have none of, um, this series is uh, the smallest in copies I have left. So I have the grind number one. I also have the grind number one. This is the terror cover. I'm doing time, get a quick drink. I am thirsty. Another royal blue foil. Nightmare on Elm Street. Special number one. This is royal blue foil. Only 100 were made. I have a COA. This is, uh, it's hard to believe, this thing's 15 years old now. Like 05 these came out. Um, I remember uh, going in the catalog and um, ordering these books because it's horror, it's slasher, it's got Brian Polito on it. Enough said. Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid Number One Terror cover. Got a few of these left. Give them while I got them. Because once they're gone, that's it. These ones are no more. I still have a few copies of Paranoid Number Two, the Platinum Foil covers. Ooh, platinum y. Ooh, so cool. I love this stuff. So now. actually in the mood for some classic 80s uh, slasher films. I think I might throw one in tonight if I have time. Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid Number 1. This is the core cover. All of these things you can find on the eBay store. Just click on the link. Shop, shop, shop. Or you can even go to the Coffin Comics link. You have exactly five minutes for the 20% off sale. You have five minutes, folks. Get on there. Click on that link. Jump in. 20% off. For the next five minutes, then game over, man. Game over. Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid Number Dose. A few copies of these left. Uh, I found I had a lot of uh, eBay buyers in Europe um, pick up these uh, horror books. Um, uh, one guy bought almost every version I have. Fear book number one, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, but yeah, these are really popular in Europe. Um, I wish I could get my hands. I, I used to collect any of the horror stuff I could get my hands on back in the day. And I wish I still had my hands on my Innovation, um, Freddy's comics, and the they did Chucky and Chuck, uh, Child's Play and Child's Play 2, I believe they did adaptations of. This is uh, Jason X special number one. This is the wrap cover. The last of the selections I have on the eBay store. So a lot of the slasher stuff is going fairly quickly. Still have five more minutes to get on the Coffin Comics shop. Take advantage of the 20% off sale we got going on. It's our 13th anniversary. Five minutes. Another platinum foil Jason X special one. No, it's just issue one. And yes, they still have, they are still sealed. They still have the little mini poster that's inside here and the COA. I am not, if you want me to get these signed by Brian, please let me know and I will open them up and have them signed for you. <clears throat> Jason X, this is the headless cover. I think I have two to four copies left and that's it, once they're gone, I am officially sold out. Yeah, get your books on. Miguel's right, guys. 20% um, off. You got five minutes left. Take advantage of it while you can, while you can. This is the Jason X Numero Uno Gore. Just for, uh, I was a big uh, gore hound in the 80s. Me and my friends, like total splatterpunks and whatnot, loved 
slasher films, just horror films in general. Um, I think probably one of my favorite makeup artists, um, I was glad I got to meet him, but Tom Savini. So any of you gore hounds, um, give me a thumbs up if you're a big Tom Savini fan. This is Jason X, issue one. I have a few more of these than the other editions, so these will probably be around a little while longer than the headless, the platinum foils and whatnot. It'll probably the rarest Friday the 13th book I have ever had the pleasure of holding in my hands. It's the Friday the 13th special number one. This is the royal blue foil cover. Only 100 remained. Remained. Were made. <laughs> There's a COA in the back. Stating so. 100 copies. So, once these are done, that's it. They're gone. I got one of each. I got one Friday 13th. I got one Nightmare on Elm Street. And I got one Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Check them out. Check them out. Also have the Friday 13th number two bloodbath. The platinum foil. Ooh, don't look at the direct sunlight. You will go blind. Here's the amazing Jeff Kinnear's sample of one of the bark bags I have left. Only two left. This one and another one. That's it. I had four or five on there originally, and they got gobbled up fairly quickly. And then last, we have the Lady Death Dreams. This is the Naughty Black Magic Edition by Dan Mendoza. Um, it's a triple signature. You got two Brian Politos here, and then you got a Brian Polito on that one. So um, I made sure I threw in three COAs. That's everything I have for you guys today. We still got a couple minutes, a couple minutes to take advantage of that 20% off. You guys need to get it. Well, you can. Uh-oh. Three minutes. So anyways, um, thank you everyone who's been back with us at Kickstarter. It's been really nice um, getting to know everyone uh, through the messages um, while I've been helping out on the uh, help desk. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice getting to know you guys. Um, uh, it's been really thrilling to watch um, everyone talk on the uh, message board or not message board on the uh, Facebook pages um, you're a beautiful group of people and um, we are very lucky to have you um, real quick if anyone has a quick shout out Miguel what's the last thing you want to say for the day before I wrap it up if you're even there well I guess he's not all right everybody it's been good to see you. I'm Julian the Hooligan. And you, uh, what the heck? No, no, I do not want that to happen. And we are wrapping it up for the day. It's been Monday. Oh, real quick, there will not. Uh, I will not be doing a live show. I'll probably be doing a recorded show next week. Um, it's a holiday, Labor Day, so I'm going to go out and live in the woods like a crazy person for three days. So. Thank you, everybody. I'm sworn to you. This is you are sworn to us. My name is Julian the Hooligan. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Have a good one and have a wonderful rest of your week. Talk to you, Malaita. <laughs>